Oh, and welcome my friend. And then I am planning to give you information that how to replace this Honda Civic car's cigarette lighter fuse. And there is issue that I have used this cigarette lighter for some cell phone too heavy load and now fuse is blown and bad. And let's go to look at how I replace this fuse. Okay, and there is really now situation that this Honda Civic's cigarette lighter fuse what manages this unit now it is broken and this device is not working and we have to now replace this fuse okay and what we need to do next okay we have to go in this drivers this pedal area and there is this bonnet opening switch and then when we look in a little bit up there is this our fuse box and there is also cover in that area what I have already take out it looks like that this plastic cover and it goes in this position and when we remove that cover then we can work better in that area okay and then really we have to only find this fuse and this cigarette lighter fuse is in this position number 20, uh, 29 and when we look this closer we can see in this area in this lower area there are small numbers in this small numbers and this one is 29 this blue fuse what is this one five fifteen is the sides and now we have to install just just similar fuse in this position what is this blue one five and we can find just similar fuse in our honda civics engine spare part fuse box and let's go to look that what is this spare part fuse box in Honda Civic car. And so in this engine, this left side area where is car battery and driver's wheel, there is this fuse box what we need to next open because there is our spare part fuse and also small tool for that replace. Okay, and this fuse box opening happens so that there are small bits in this area and we have to press this both switch in same time and then pull out that in this way. This is a little bit difficult if you have a little bit older Honda because it can to be stuck. And now we look disclose you that how we press this switch in this way an idea is to pull out up in that way and and this is stuck and fingers can hurt and that's we need to use now look I have small dents in my finger because this is so tight and we need to use glove Okay, and this job is really a little bit hurtful and that's I recommend that you purchase leather gloves, that kind of gloves that are tight, like chirurg and doctor level doctors use these plastic gloves, but this leather and when we use these gloves it is so easy to press and there is no any hurt happening if something hits to our fingers. And now I managed to open this fuse box and in inside in here we can see these spare parts so nicely.
and let's look closer. And there are really our spare part fuses and this blue one is 1.5 what we need and this white tool what we can lift up it is this fuse replace tool and it works so that I press these sides and then I release and it takes contact and now I take this fuse away in this way and then only pull up pull up and then this spare part fuse comes in here and now we have to only install this fuse in this cabin areas fuse box location 29 and let's go to do that job next of course if you have situation that this lot is empty then you have to walk or drive to Honda dealership center and purchase one new fuse, blue fuse. It costs about two dollars in USA, like Nevada and California, and of course in New York. And then we need, of course, light because this fuse box area is a little bit difficult to see and there is this our fuse box and then we look and then we look a little bit this my spare part fuse and there is really idea that if this central area is solid but we look in that area in here then this fuse is okay but if this central area is away then this fuse is blow out and broken and this is really our tool but if we have these long head pliers like in that one then this replace is easier and I have this plier and now we go to look 29 position it is in here that one and then I take my tool and this is a little bit difficult position and I, I pull out I pull out this fuse so it goes easily and then we check that what is this fuse status fuse status in here it is interesting to see and we compare now this is like test there is that one and now when we look we can see right away what looks like broken and bad Honda Civic fuse. This is bad and this is okay. Look this central area in here. And now we can really see that this is bad fuse because central area is away and this one is fine. And now I install then this fuse in back in this position 29. Okay, and let's take my pliers and we can install this both sides, but of course it is good to see these numbers like one five because then we can later understand better these things. And now I take really this my pliers in this way and actually I have to keep this in this position. This is this position how we install this fuse in this area. And now we look at where is 29. It is in this up area. And now it is maybe better that I install this fuse in using my fingers. It is in here. I take this my fingers and now I believe that that is uh, 29 it is in here that one this one in here this is really okay now it's in position 29 in here excellent and then we can go to test our cigarette lighter that how it works 
Okay, and this test happens so that I need my key and I have to turn on this my car's electricity in this way and then we can look this cigarette light this button and I press that in and then I have to wait about 10 to 20 seconds and if this pull out and comes out then it works well and it must be also hot oh it flies now this may be a little bit too heavy and then we can see that this is hot also but normally this this should to be in inside if this flies away like in my case then I have to purchase new part from Honda dealers but now we notice that now this my cigarette light uh, works and we can test again and now I can keep this in here here and this is now really I can feel that it is hot and now this our repair and test is fine thank you my friend for watching and you have learned new things